How's it going? Rich Teller here. Definitely not Tom Gillespie, definitely not Bitman360. This is episode four of the 2023 vlog. I'd like to tell you what's been happening just over the last month or so. The bit joinery has essentially become Indikin, which is the protocol, and the B250 is going to be the first collective that we will um, test the protocol with. Basically, just about wrapping the, the white paper, the Indican white paper, which next month I will be uh, approaching investors with to try to see if there is some interest in providing seed capital to help us build out the uh, initial protocol and the uh, associated dApps that will help facilitate the collectives that come in the future. I have been interviewing for co-founder positions and that is continuing today. Um, the incubator, the A-Labs guys, we are concluding this month as well, hence moving into the stage where I will start approaching investors to gauge interest in taking this project forward. Those of you that did claim uh, your roll tokens on Uncut will be able to uh, claim the B250 collective tokens for free and any that are left over are very, very welcome to those of you that are creators out there or independent filmmakers or have an ambition to tell an interesting story are welcome to join that be the first collective, the B250 with us. Um, just swing by the Discord at either b250.org or indikin.com. And with that said, I would like to describe to you the six stakeholders that uh, comprise the Indican e ecosystem. There are two categories of stakeholder. Collective members, those that hold a role token in order to interact with the Indican protocol. This includes filmmakers, authors, curators, and hypers. Non-collective members, those that can participate without holding either the native indie token or a collective role token. Those are comprised of backers and consumers. Let's start with backers. Let's outline how backers fit into the Indikin ecosystem. The Indikin protocol rewards backers with the native Indikin token Indy for staking funds in the film funding pool and additional production rewards when allocating those funds to back a filmmaker's fully funded proposal. Backers are not part of an Indikin collective and are instead part of the broader ecosystem. So when a filmmaker proposal reaches the stated budget, as outlined when publishing their proposal, funds are transferred to each of the three creator communities found within a collective and then production can begin. As production moves through the process, whenever value is exchanged amongst collective members, backers that voted on the associated proposal and have provided funds receive production rewards in the form of indie tokens. Once a production is complete and goes live on streaming platforms, additional rewards are also issued to backers that funded the productions. Filmmakers. Let's outline how filmmakers fit into the Indican ecosystem. The Indican protocol rewards filmmakers for publishing initial proposal assets, IPAs, successfully funding their IPAs, and finally publishing their films. When an IPA reaches the filmmaker's stated budget, funds are made accessible to the three creator communities via their individual treasuries and production can begin. While in production, all funds are handled in stable coins to obviously avoid market volatility. And as the production moves through the process, filmmakers use the matchmaking app, the Indikin matchmaking app, to interact with members of the three creator communities in order to access the resources they require to produce their film, depleting the budget as they exchange value and move through the production process. At the final stages of post-production, an optional pre-screening event provides for all parties involved in a production to earn additional rewards in indie tokens. Once a production is completed and begins streaming, streaming revenues are periodically transferred to all of the members that contributed and participated on the production. 
ensuring everyone benefits from the results of their individual contributions. In order to publish IPAs and work with collective members, filmmakers need to hold a director's pass. And that allows them to interact with the Indican protocol. Each Indican collective comes with 100 director passes. Let's uh, talk about authors. Let's outline how authors fit into the Indican ecosystem. So the Indican protocol rewards authors for participating and contributing on a filmmaker's production. When an IPA reaches the filmmaker's stated budget, funds are made accessible to the three creator communities, authors being one of them. Authors access these funds via the treasury and production begins. While in production, all funds are handled in stable coins, of course, to avoid market volatility. The author creator community treasury will hold the budget designated by a filmmaker for production tasks, shooting footage, capturing interviews, making music, VFX, etc. Authors have a professional profile and are invited by a filmmaker to cooperate on a production. This cooperation is facilitated by the Indican matchmaking app. When a cooperation is confirmed, funds are escrowed in the author treasury and once the author delivers the content and the filmmaker is happy, the funds are released to the author. Logging any associated intellectual property rights there may be within that same transaction. Once a production is completed and goes live on the streaming platform, streaming revenues are periodically transferred to authors that worked on the production. In order for authors to work with a filmmaker, and so a production, they must hold an author pass. This allows them to interact with the Indican protocol. Each Indican collective has 50 author passes. Let's briefly outline how creators fit into the Indican ecosystem. The Indican protocol rewards curators for participating and contributing on a filmmaker's production. When an IPA reaches the filmmaker's stated budget, funds are made accessible to the three creator communities, curators being one of them. While in production, all funds are handled in stable coins to avoid market volatility. The curator's community treasury will hold the budget designated by a filmmaker for post-production tasks, editing, sound mixing, etc. Curators have a professional profile and are invited by a filmmaker to cooperate on a production. This cooperation is facilitated by the Indican matchmaking app. Now, when a cooperation is confirmed, funds are escrowed in the curator's treasury. And once that individual curator delivers the content and the filmmaker is happy, the funds are released to the curator logging any associated intellectual property rights there within. Once a production is completed and goes live on the streaming platform, streaming revenues are periodically passed to creators that worked on the production. In order for creators to work with a filmmaker, they must hold a curator pass. That allows them to interact with the Indikim protocol. Hypers, let's briefly outline how hypers fit into the Indikim ecosystem. The Indikim protocol rewards hypers for, for participating and contributing on a filmmaker's production. When an IPA reaches the filmmaker's stated budget, funds are made accessible to the three creator communities, Hypers being one of them, via the individual treasuries, and production can begin. Now, while in production, all funds are handled in stable coins to avoid market volatility. The Hypers creator treasury will hold the budget designated by a filmmaker for marketing and distribution tasks, podcasting, live streaming, appearances, etc., articles, events. Hypers have a professional profile and are invited by a director to cooperate. This cooperation is facilitated by the Indican matchmaking app. When a deal is made, funds are escrowed in the treasury, and once the hyper confirms the media placement or the director makes an appearance, the funds are then released to the hyper. In order for hypers to work with a filmmaker, they must hold a hyper pass. That allows them to interact with the Indican protocol and so collect revenues. Each Indican collective has 50 hyper passes. And finally, the consumers. So consumers of Indican films will be able to earn kin tokens by watching and sharing Indican films natively. Consumers will also be invited to exchange kin for indie tokens in order to back filmmakers that they want to see more films from. Kin is an off-chain loyalty token with the benefit of capturing consumer sentiment 
and utilizing that to create more fundraising opportunities for new filmmakers. So that comprises the six stakeholders from within the ecosystem and I imagine it would probably bring up more questions than answers at this stage and that's precisely why I would like to invite you to check out the white paper, join the Discord to come and learn more and you know if you want to be part of the B250 um, come and introduce yourself and see if it's a good fit. We would love to learn more about what you want to achieve as either a filmmaker, an author, curator, a hyper and I'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching.